Good morning, Paul Georgie from Allendale. It's August 12, 2011, with uh, being Friday morning, and the talk of the town today is the stock market volatility. We've had uh, record volatility, 400-point moves in four days in a row, unprecedented volatility, and what's it going to be like today? This, right now, we're currently up 100 points in the Dow Index. Uh, so it looks like uh, we're due for some more volatility here today. The dollar down 25 as we speak. Crude oil's up 105 after being down about 50 just uh, a short time ago. So uh, we've got a lot of economic news uh, and a lot of adjustments by countries. We had several countries in Europe banning the uh, uh, short selling at, in their stock markets, which uh, could slow down some of the uh, pressure in those markets. But we've got uh, this extreme volatility. We've also got a lot of uh, news people and advisors, financial advisors on uh, television here this morning, at least in Chicago, saying, where do you, the question is, where do you put your money? Uh, they're saying put it in commodities, buy corn, buy uh, soybeans, buy livestock because people got to eat. So that uh, may help support the uh, the fuel here to the uh, the bullish fire uh, at least for a period of time and until this uh, stock market settles down. But in the grains, when you look at the fundamentals, USDA did give us a good number yesterday, uh, somewhat of a surprise in the yield. Uh, that they lowered the yield so much in one month uh, period of time, especially early in the season where we do have a lot of uh, growing season left. The uh, corn market, uh, you've got to remember back in April and May when uh, we got the, the planting progress numbers, we had about half of the crop planted early and the other half uh, was planted uh, extremely late. Well, we're getting into that time period now where that late part of the corn crop is uh, pollinating and uh, setting ear, and uh, temperatures are cooler through the southern part of the uh, Corn Belt where the delays were made, and we've got uh, some potential moisture coming into those areas this weekend. So uh, look for a lot of fireworks again on Sunday night, Monday morning. If we get rain, uh, we'll probably uh, be sharply lower. If we don't get rain and uh, the weather forecast is for a, a few days of extremely hot weather next week, uh, that could uh, create the, uh, the incentive here to, to push markets higher. The uh, other surprise was in the bean yield, where they lowered bean yield by two bushel an acre. Uh, to do that at this time of year was definitely unprecedented by uh, USDA. Uh, a good rain across the uh, the Corn Belt and the uh, southern Midwest, anyway, where the soybeans are grown, can uh, revive those plants and actually still give us a, a pretty good yield. But uh, they decided to adjust that and tighten up the ending stock, so enough to uh, give us some uh, bullish numbers and and uh, and combine that with the volatility in the stock market. We certainly have got. Uh, uh, an opportunity here for producers to make some sales on uh, on some grain. We would suggest certainly looking at that, talking to Allendale representatives or even your elevators to uh, to make some sales here at these uh, good levels. The uh, livestock trade cutout values in beef was up sharply yesterday, up a dollar eighty in choice, up uh, one fifty nine in select. Cash cattle did trade yesterday at 115 to 117. That's anywhere from two to four dollars higher than last week. Uh, hog trade was a little weaker. Cutout values were down 72. But as I said earlier, the uh, the news out there and several uh, commentators are are touting buy uh, agricultural futures and uh, especially uh, the livestock, where they say we've got to uh, higher corn prices are going to relate to uh, higher meat prices down the road, which we feel is certainly possible, but we've also got to realize a lot of that uh, uh, bullishness or friendliness is built into the uh, deferred contracts in uh, the uh, hogs and in the cattle. So something to monitor very closely uh, with uh, the volatility in the, stock, volatility in the stock market. It's going to carry over into uh, agricultural commodities and uh, 
use risk management uh, to the, the best of your ability because these markets are going to be extremely choppy. Stay in touch with Allendale's uh, research and Allendale uh, traders. We'll be happy to help you and answer any questions that you might have. Uh, we hope you have a very successful trading day, and we'll talk to you on uh, Monday morning.